Sanbonani, Dumelang, Molweni. Hello everyone, how are you doing today? Um, <laughs> it's a really a great pleasure to have you all here. Um, if you're new here, my name is Ruth. If you're a returning subscriber, you know, you're returning to my channel. Thank you so much for coming back. Um, thank you so much for all the likes, the comments, um, for even subscribing. It really means a lot. And um, please don't mind uh, the car in the background. In fact, you might be hearing cars passing by because I'm outside the house, you know, and... Um, if you've been following me for a while, um, you know that I always like structure my videos, you know. <laughs> I don't come on here with my bonnet and yeah, I'm not outside. I'm usually in my room, but guys, this video has to be done. Like, I have to make sure that this video goes out there, okay. Um, thank you so much for everyone who has shared my videos. It really means a lot. Like. I honestly thank you from the depths of my heart as in the very depths of my heart okay so one thing you should know about me is that I'm very passionate about the truth whether people like it or not and if you're new here um, my channel is about um, faith relationships and marriage and when I talk about relationships I'm also including I'm not just talking about romantic relationships but I'm also talking about friendships and um, family family relations right whether it's with extended family in-laws um, things like that okay so please like I said don't mind the background I just felt in my spirit that I had to record this video because it's something that's actually very dear to my heart right so before i start i just want to pray i want to pray for all of you okay so heavenly father god in the mighty name of jesus christ i pray that you open your people's ears open up their hearts so that they can understand your word um so that they can understand what i'm saying lord um lord god i pray that they be convicted in their spirits and that they do their own research lord um, that they open um, the, their Bibles and that they read the truth for themselves, Father. That they don't just take my word for it, Lord, but that what I'm about to teach, Lord God, makes them aware and cognizant um, of what you want them to know, Lord God, pertaining to witchcraft and uh, how we can enter into the household, into the family. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Okay, so also if you've been following me for a while, you know that I always make my notes, okay? So, um... I just want to also say that um, the reason why I haven't been, you know, uploading videos for a while is because I just want to spend time with the Lord, you know, reading more of my Bible, spending more time in prayer because um, I'm not perfect, you know, I also make mistakes and I also need to soak into the Word of God. I also need to spend time with Him, you know, just go before um, the throne of God, you know, just um, soaking in his presence, you know. So it's very important for us to just take a break, you know, um, find some time in our lives to just spend time with the Lord, right? Now, with that being said, right, um, I just want to teach and make you aware of this topic that's very dear to my heart, okay? It's um, like witchcraft in families, man. It's, it's really serious and so many families have been broken because of witchcraft, you know, being in the family. Before I continue with this video, I just want to stress to you all that um, I did exten extensive research on this topic. Like, um, I don't take these things lightly, you know. I done extensive research on this topic and um, like I mentioned before, it's something that's very dear to my heart and um, I can definitely search you on YouTube and confirm that witchcraft is very real within the family within the household okay so before i continue with the video let us first establish what is witchcraft check this out okay so with these definitions that I put up on the screen, right? That bird sounds so beautiful right now. It's so nice. Okay, so with these definitions that I put out there, right? Um, we can clearly conclude, guys, that witchcraft, also known as sorcery, um, is the use of spells, you know, it's the use of charms um, to manipulate or control people and nature. You get what I'm saying? So, 
like a witch can even use objects, objects to possess people, objects to control people. All right, so I really hope that you're taking into consideration what I am actually talking about. Okay, so I want you all to know that just because witchcraft is also called uh, black magic doesn't mean that it's only done by black people, or African people. I mean, witchcraft is also done by all the other races and it has its names, you know, like uh, Obe, Santeria, Voodoo, you know. In South Africa, where I'm from, it's called Muti, you know, so it, it's there. It's all over the world. It just has different names, but it's there, okay? Now, let me also show you the meaning and the definition of family. Check this out. However, I really like how the Merriam-Webster dictionary um, defines family. Check this out. Now, I also want to say that if you are married and have children, your spouse and your children are your family, okay? I want to make clear to you that if you were raised by a relative or you were raised by, you know, a single parent, I just want to make you understand that that is also your family. Hello. <laughs> Even if your parents are divorced, you know, and you're raised by a single parent, um, your mother or your father, the one who's raising you, that is your family, okay? I just want to make sure we're all on the same page and we understand what is family, like what family actually means, right? If you are, if you are raised by, you know, your aunt, your uncle, or like Queen Esther, you know, she was raised by Mordecai, her cousin, um, that is also your family, you get what I'm saying? So... For anyone who's confused about what extended family means, extended, extended family means um, family that is not your parents and your siblings. Okay, so this includes your aunts, your uncles, you know, your cousins, you know, your grandparents. You get what I'm saying? Okay, so what I've come to realize, right, you know, in my research and, uh, you know, just hearing people's stories, um, people are usually bewitched, you know, under the influence of witchcraft by their in-laws, mostly by their in-laws and extended family, you know. So let me stress to you, my brothers and my sisters, right, um, and make you cognizant. Please excuse the noise. Like I said, I'm outside. People are doing their own thing. Um, that witchcraft is more real than you think, okay? Even for people who don't believe in its power, it's there. There are people who don't even know witchcraft existed, but they were still bewitched. You get what I'm saying? So it doesn't matter if you believe or you don't believe. It's there. People are doing it. You get what I'm saying? So now you're probably asking yourself, um, why do family members bewitch? You get what I'm saying? Well, there are many reasons why family members bewitch. It can be grudges. It can be envy. It can be jealousy. It can be competition. Um unforgiveness, hatred, bitterness, you know, and the list goes on and on, you know. OMG, like, I'm honestly, like, recording this video outside. That's how passionate I am about this, guys. I mean, I'm in my bonnet and stuff. Oh, my goodness. Sure, yeah, man. <laughs> That's how much I love you guys. I really want people to know the truth and I want people to start praying and reading their Bibles, you know, so that witchcraft doesn't touch them. Okay, there are so many Bible verses that will that literally changed my life. Okay, that changed my life. Okay. Anyway, so I have had relatives that were bewitched. Okay, so I, I know what I'm talking about. Okay. Um this is why I'm so passionate about this topic. Alright. Because many of us know that witchcraft exists, but not many people want to talk about it, okay? That's what I've come to find. And um, if you watch like Nigerian movies, right, you'll notice that most of them have this concept or this, their movie is, uh, like the, the topic of the movie is witchcraft, you know, um, people being bewitched by relatives. You, because in this video, I'm focusing on relatives. I'm not saying that witchcraft only happens within the family, no. It happens to anyone at the workplace, um, spouses, you know, um, 
even children, you know, it, there, there are so many stories out there. But today in this video, I'm just focusing on the family unit, right? So as I was saying that if you watch Nigerian movies, you'll get an understanding or an idea of, you know, how people actually get bewitched. Or if you search testimonies on YouTube, you'll hear like people are being bewitched, you know, by relatives, you know, maybe through in initiation, you know, things like that. So um, the purpose of witchcraft is to control, to manipulate, you know, thus in your immediate or extended family, right? you may find a witch you may find a witch i'm not calling anyone a witch i'm just making this video to make you aware so that if you see the signs you know but not just seeing the signs but going into prayer and asking the lord is it true is this person you know because we can't go out there saying you're a witch because you know you made my daughter fail and things like that no it doesn't work like that okay you need to you see the signs you go to god in prayer and then the Lord will reveal to you if someone is really a witch or not. Okay guys, so I have to now walk because there's so much noise. Oh my goodness. So much noise in the neighborhood. Okay, so I just want to briefly talk about a movie that I love so much. Okay, so I had to change locations. Like there's so much noise. Oh my goodness, guys. It's so ridiculous. Okay, so I just want to talk about a movie that I really love, right? Um, it's a Nigerian movie. And um, the, the point of the movie was just to show the power of God. But there were so many concepts in that movie so many topics that blew my mind and one of them was witchcraft right so it's basically about a rich man who falls in love with a blind woman the name of the movie is called real love so this rich man falls in love with a blind lady who's very good at sculpting and um he couldn't stop thinking about her he almost um hit her bumped her with, with his car because you know he was stressed and stuff and then when he confronted her and realized she was blind that's when he couldn't stop thinking about her and then he started like pursuing her and all of that and then he fell in love with her like he grew to love her however he was in the process of getting married to another rich young lady but when the when his potential bride found out guys i really hope i'm making sense okay so when his potential bride found out that her fiance you know is you know in love with a woman who's blind she told her mother and her mother who was going to be the in-law of this uh, rich young man um went to a sangoma you know that's what we call them in my country but she went to the witch doctor or whatever and um he told he instructed this young lady the the fiance to put an object in front of the door where the blind woman works and so luckily this blind woman was friends with a pastor so um the sangoma gave you know um the 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 bad side of it so like what happens with witchcraft is that when things don't go according to plan when you don't set the ex like if you don't do what you're told by the sangoma the witch doctor you know the obey man whatever things can go very wrong so he, he did say the sangoma said that if you if this you know witchcraft does not kill this lady because the purpose was to kill her if she does not die then the the fiance will she'll die she'll die a painful a painful death like she'll have a headache and die and as for the mother the mother will go blind that's what happened right? so what happened um when the pastor oh my gosh like birds just flew right past me anyway so when the when the pastor was going to visit the young blind lady, right, he saw this object and he rebuked it and he renounced it. He cancelled whatever demonic power was there, was operating there. And guess what? Same time, um, you know, the, the, the fiancé started reacting. She passed away, unfortunately. The mother-in-law became blind and then she eventually confessed. And then her husband divorced her, so on and so forth. So my point in telling you about this movie is that, guys, there is power in the name of Jesus there is power you can defeat witchcraft if you're under witchcraft right now if the Holy Spirit's been telling you that you are under witchcraft attack I'm telling you now there is nothing the devil can do there is nothing that people who are operating against you will do that will cause you to stumble in your life okay and like in this movie you can tell that the reason why this mother wanted her daughter to bewitch this blind woman is because 
her potential husband, you know, her fiancé was a rich man, you know, the chief's son, you know, I mean, you, you get what I'm saying. People use witchcraft to, you know, satisfy their own selfish desires, you get what I'm saying. Oh my goodness, guys, I have to walk again, there is so much noise today. Why on the day when I decide to make this? You see, guys, the devil does not like this information that I am, you know, that I'm talking about, okay? So anyway, so um, I just wanted to say that curses come upon us, right, as Christians. Curses come upon us as Christians. Like, people are able to bewitch us because, you know, we hold unforgiveness in our hearts, you know, and offenses. You get what I'm saying? Which is not what we're supposed to have in our hearts. I mean, if you have jealousy, envy, you know, bitterness, etc., um, you can't expect to get married, you know, progress at work, bear children, um, be financially stable, um, etc. Some of you are subconsciously allowing your relatives, you know, and not just your relatives, but anyone who is operating, you know, with these uh, powers of darkness, you know, to perform witchcraft on you. Yes, I said it. You know, I'm being so serious. I'm not even joking. You know, um, your prayers will not be answered by God. You know, if you have unforgiveness, jealousy, anger, and things like that, you get what I'm saying? I mean, if you live such a lifestyle, how can God honestly bless you? You, you get what I'm saying? If you're praying for marriage, but you're someone who's jealous of other people's marriages, you're jealous of people's relationships, you know, um, when you borrow money, you don't give people back. You are unreliable. You are cheating on your current partner. How do you expect to be blessed with marriage and financial stability? You know, these are questions you really need to ask yourself, right? How can you go months and years disregarding your parents, disregarding your siblings? I mean, I know of people that can go 5, 10, 15 years or a whole lifetime not um visiting their relatives or not seeing their relatives it's really scary guys people are actually abandoning their families it's really scary hey um you can't disregard your family you know your siblings your parents or whoever just because a pastor or sangoma told you that oh this person is working witchcraft against you okay if 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 the pastor or the Sangoma, the Obe man, you know, is telling you this information or someone walks up to you and says, you know, I had a dream that your, your mother is doing witchcraft on you. That's why you can't have children, so on and so forth. Your father is the reason why you're unable to, to progress in life, to be financially stable. Then you as a Christian, you proclaim to serve the great God of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob. Why don't you go on your knees and pray to God? Ask him, Father. Is it true? Is my mother working against me? Is my father working against me? Is my brother, is my sister, are my siblings? Who in my family, Lord, reveal it to me in a dream. Reveal it to me, God. Give me confirmation. Give me confirmation, Father, and reveal to me if this person is really, or these people are really working against me. Like, why? Like, guys, these days, we can't t take people's word for it anymore. Have you seen how many pastors are manipulating people? How many people in in a positions of power are taking advantage of of people like us you know now we need to rely on god so much more this is what strengthens our relationship with god because we literally trust in him right we literally trust in god and what i've come to find is that people are treating their pastors like god people are treating their friends who are prophetic or whoever like their gods that's idol worship guys that's idol worship leave the position of god to god don't give it to man don't give it to people you get what i'm saying um even like our social like i had relatives that would make these prayers because they were taught by their pastor called back to sender prayers i don't know if you've heard of this i was baffled i was like what back to sender like if someone is doing evil against you then you'll be like ah I, 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 I send that evil back to the person. But we're Christians. And Jesus said we must love our neighbor as we love ourselves. And that we should pray for our enemies. So why are you saying back to sender? Fire, fire on that person. No, you should pray for that person. That they repent and they come to the knowledge of Christ. And that they walk with Christ. You get what I'm saying? Now, I want you to read the scripture very well. That the Apostle Paul said to the Galatians. which 
witchcraft was mentioned there by the Apostle Paul. It was not by coincidence. It was not a mistake. Witchcraft was a very real thing. And it still is today. Now, if witchcraft was there, guys, back then... <laughs> best believe it's there till today and it will continue to be there right and um we as christians cannot afford to live ignorantly guys we can't afford to live ignorantly of the fact that witchcraft exists like it's there guys it's there okay and also since the new testament was originally written in greek right i done some research just to find out like what does witchcraft mean right like its original meaning and when i checked it up it was um Pharmakia, I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. Pharmakia and Pharmakia means witchcraft or sorcery, right? Oh, I really like how the sun is. Yeah. And um, it literally means the act of administering drugs and then of giving magical potions. According to this, according to the source, I researched this on a, on a site called Bible Study Tools. So, yes, guys. So, witchcraft or sorcery, also known as Pharmakia. Um, it's mentioned in the Bible. I mean, the Bible has so many stories about witchcraft. Um, do you guys remember the story about King Saul when he went to the when he went to a witch, and um, he went to a witch. Sorry, guys. I was just greeting my little sister. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so um, King Saul done something terrible. He felt like he wasn't hearing from God, you know. And what did he do? He went to a witch and he inquired of the witch. You know, you should definitely read the story for yourselves. And, you know, he wanted to talk to Samuel, the prophet who had passed away. I don't want to talk too much into that. I actually want you guys to do Bible study. Um, I'm going to actually leave passages. You know, I'm going to leave verses. I'm going to leave scripture for you guys to do your own Bible study. I want you guys to be serious with your relationship with God. I want you guys to know that witchcraft is there. Now, some things you can say in your prayers, right? I think I'm going to do a series on witchcraft. I want you guys to pray these prayers and I'll, I'll, I'll leave the scriptures, you know, so that you can add them to your prayers. But no weapon formed against me shall prosper. The gates of hell shall not prevail against me in the name of Jesus. I quench the fiery darts of the enemy in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Okay, these are things that you're supposed to be saying. And I'm telling you, the devil will not touch you. Remember, we wrestle not against flesh and blood. So yes, your, your mother, your father, your siblings, whoever can be working witchcraft against you, don't allow that to deter you. Don't allow that to scare you. In fact, you should get excited and be like, not the God that I serve. God, guys, placed his word above him. Therefore, his word cannot fall to the ground. God's word does not return to him. God's word does not return to him void, as it says in Isaiah. God will fulfill um, his promises. You get what I'm saying? So, like what Ephesians says that we wrestle not against flesh and blood. So, it's not the person that you should be angry with. It's who they are working for which is satan so we wrestle not against flesh and blood but against principalities powers you know darkness you should read that 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 verse that that is who we are facing people we are facing devils demons satan you know he works tirelessly like what peter said like a roaring lion to destroy us so yes everyone i just want to say um sorry once again about you know my appearance um my location yeah like i said just way too much noise at home so i really felt led to make this video like i said the enemy has been attacking me to not do this video like making me procrastinate and just making me feel like i need a better background and things like that but no the word of the lord needs to be spoken i don't think Isaiah, the prophet or jeremiah or ezekiel were like oh my gosh what will people think of what i'm wearing no when they had a message from the Lord, they would speak the word of the Lord to the people. Because the people need to know the truth. Okay guys, so I love you so much. I hope I didn't scare you. And um, I can't wait for you to do your own Bible study, to do your own research about you know witchcraft happening in families. And like I said, if you feel like someone in your family is working against you, pray. Seek it from the Father. If a pastor, an evangelist, a prophet, whoever told you that your mother, your, your father, your brother, your sister, your cousin, whoever is working against you pray to god and ask him lord is this true can you confirm this can you confirm if this person is doing it and then you pray about it okay don't now start distancing yourself from those people 
only to find that these people are innocent. You wouldn't want to play that game with God, right? Okay, guys, so I love you so much with the love of Christ. And I'm looking forward to recording my next video. <clears throat> Um, but I'm definitely gonna talk about this topic of witchcraft. I'm definitely gonna talk more about it. Okay, guys, bye. It's bye, it's bye for now. And um, <laughs> yeah, don't don't get used to this background. I will. I'll have a better background. I hope. Okay, guys, bye.